apologies for the noise. Um, so here's a first uh, experiment that I did. I was reading that the uh, that the problems for bed leveling are related to the fact that the uh, disease, disease there's two of them and two motors uh, over here is the other one, right? Um, that the z-axis, because the the motors are not linked in any way, when you turn the power off, the stepper motor is going to have a tendency to to move to a full step position and the two steppers may be out of sync. Uh, and so I was having not great success with the bed leveling and reading about this. So I decided to, I decided to, I had these, uh, little focus, I had these uh, cables here, or these, uh, I'm sorry, these belts. And this is, I think, an 852 millimeter belt. And it just so happened to be the perfect size. So I decided to do a little, some math figure out the distance between these two points and then how big of a, of a, a, a circumference I needed. Uh, it turns out I think this is 62 um, this is 62 teeth and I have a little tensioner right here. I actually need a little bit more tension um, and I've marked some lines uh, here. Sorry about the focus. Um, I've, I've marked some lines on, on both of these guys so I can kind of keep track. And obviously these are going to be, these lines are square, they were marked in the home position square to, uh, square to this beam here. Uh, and it seems to be working pretty well. I haven't had to re-level the bed uh, since I put this on. And I'm going to go ahead and post the, uh, the pulleys uh, up on Thingiverse and I'll put the links in the in the description. Um, you know this, I had. I happen to have this this uh, bearing uh, which has a retainer on it. Uh, I don't know what the best thing to do here is so I haven't designed a part for that yet. It's, it's literally just a uh, it's just a piece of uh, half inch plywood that I uh, used a drop in T-nut uh, to bolt it to the to the extrusion. Uh, but I'll go ahead and post this and um, hopefully uh, Somebody will get some, uh, be also be able to experiment with this to see if they can get Z sync um, with uh, with just a simple mechanical connection between the two Z axes.